what's up guys it's a very very hot day outside like it is so hot i cannot express it <clears throat> however mm. Mm. who else loves m&ms mm. okay so this is gonna be a very laid back relaxed chit chat type of makeup i've realized that i don't want to do like voiceovers more so i will obviously but um i want to play with makeup because i have a lot of makeup that i have to try so i have the colourpop ones i have some bharat and doris makeup i have a lot of makeup that i want to show you guys and try for myself as well so i will be doing that but it will be a little bit of a story time kind of thing or something where we can talk about stuff uh, i think i find that more interesting too when i watch other youtubers when i see them chat i love it like you know i like listening to what they have to say what's up with their life etc so i just put some garnier cream all over my face nike came out with their blend master oval brush set like this is it you guys must have seen it so i'm going to try some of these brushes today i'm definitely going to try the foundation brush and see how it is these are the nike ones and they're pretty damn soft and very very dense so i think it's going to give full coverage let's see i'm going to use the bharat and doris liquid foundation in fair medium they sent me a whole bunch of products uh, for me to try out and i really wanted to since most of you guys also recommend these products to me i thought you know since they sent it let me just try it so let me just dot it everywhere and then wow that's a good shade they sent me a, the perfect shade for my skin so i've never never tried bharat and doris products like you know definitely on shoots they use them and they're pretty good but i personally have never tried them out so this is going to be like my first time uh, so i'm going to take this brush now and let's see what happens So I'm a big beauty sponge girl like you know even though there are a lot of foundation brushes available I still prefer using my beauty sponge over brushes uh this does blend out the foundation well like you can see it does but I just simply um it's personal preference again if you like this sort of a brush and if you're looking for something like this basically it's very quick and easy so if you want to rush out you don't have to wet your beauty sponge put two pumps like blend it into the skin you can just literally brush this on and your foundation is on so that is good super quick but i prefer using beauty sponges for foundation i just love the finish of it overall this is the nike beauty sponge i've used it already just to test it out this is the the new beauty sponges they've released it's quite big and what i love about this is that it does not absorb makeup a lot can you see the makeup is sitting on the beauty sponge instead of getting soaked up completely so you're not wasting any product so it sits on the surface and helps you blend the foundation seamlessly into the skin I'm not sponsored for this video guys by Nike. I am not. I got stuff and I just wanted to try it out just to see for myself as well. So just telling you, um I really like this sponge. I like how big it becomes and I really love that it doesn't absorb a lot of the product because that happens a bunch of times with a lot of beauty sponges and it just, you know, you can see streak marks and stuff which I just really don't like. I love the pack one and now I think this is my new fave because it does blend it out very seamlessly. So I'm going to tell you a story okay from I mean I've had a pretty like normal childhood because I was a good girl like I just never did anything bad I've never stolen anything in my life. friends i know have stolen something or the other in their life like a clip or like some tiny little thing from some store and i've never done that i've just been a very good girl so um but i do have stories of how i broke my front tooth i think i was going to do a story time but i think i want to do it here while doing my makeup i think it's interesting i'm going to use the color pop no filter concealer in the shade medium to brighten up Yeah so um I was in Manglo I lived in Manglo for one year that's where my mom is from uh, for all of you tuning in for the first time I am partly south indian partly sindhi um so my mom uh, yeah so we moved to Manglo for like one whole year so I did my education there I did my fourth my third grade or fourth grade there I don't remember but um yeah so we had we were on the fourth floor I remember that and it was this whole um corridor so when you step out of the house you have four flats and this is huge passage in front okay so there's a lot of space to like 
play and stuff and i was a kid yeah i was in third grade so my older brother and me we used to play a lot like you know we used to play cricket we used to play catch catch and all that and jeku was very young so my younger brother jake for all of you who don't know he was very young at the time so J and me used to play mostly. I'm gonna take the Bharat and Doris loose powder in 07. Let's try this. I have tried this before and I really liked it for baking as well. But uh, let's give this another shot. I like how tiny this is. Like I said, I've tried this before and I like it. You know, it's one of those powders where, you know, if you don't have the Laura Mercier or anything, this could be your powder over here, you know. And I really like it. I'm going to set my face using the Nika Skin Genius. I'm sorry I'm breaking up between stories. Uh, before I move on with the story, I'm using the Colourpop Cheeky Palette by I Love Sarai. This is her collaboration with Colourpop and this is so beautiful. It's got a nice matte white, it's got champagne, it's got this pukey brown and this plum. So it's like really really pretty and so pigmented I didn't even have to do I barely touched it and that's the pigment so I love it I'm gonna try and use I'm gonna use this first in my crease um yeah so we were on the fourth floor and the passage was huge okay and he was supposed to catch me I believe mind you it was a long passage huh? like we could run and everything and it was marble flooring okay marble flooring so obviously I went I think I went barefoot bare feet I'm not sure I'm not sure on that little detail but um so we were having a lot of fun everything was fine in my world in my life i was loving life until until it was my you know turn to run and his turn to catch me so i was running and running aimlessly and sorry for stopping it's playing in my head and i'm just i can't believe that happened so there was a grill and um which was protecting uh you know it was like a barricade and then you could see down at the end of the passage okay so uh yeah so i ran and i slipped i slipped so bad that i fell face first like like i can still picture it but I just fell face first like I didn't even put my hands because I was so small like my reflexes were so um, slow so I fell and I hit my mouth on the marble for the first few seconds I did not even know what was happening so I hit my face and I banged my head against the grill because I slipped and I got I glided uh, how do you say I was gliding through because it was marble and was slippery and I hit my head on the grill luckily the grill was there otherwise I would have been down bye bye gone and broken my bones already so i hit the drill bang my mouth and i was just like first nothing happened because i was numb right it was paining so much that i was numb and my brother my older brother was laughing at me obviously he was right there and he's like ha, 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 ha. and he thought it was a joke he thought i'm playing with him being like i got hurt and like trying to win the game he was laughing at me so much until he saw a pool of blood underneath me like there was blood everywhere too graphic but there was blood everywhere and i was like what the f just happened i thought dude it's over for me like it's over firstly i don't know what broke i couldn't feel anything so this was my permanent tooth okay obviously my mid tooth had fallen off but let me track back now okay so at this point i'm backing to another story i'm stopping and going backwards now uh so at this point i don't think jake was even born at the time so it was just me and jay and there was this platform okay like this platform where uh, i had my milk milk teeth obviously and i was very young so i was climbing on that and my sandals or whatever boy shoes that i was wearing like slipped off how do I explain it? So I was climbing and it slipped off and I fell face first. Like like that, you know, because there was like a high platform. So I was climbing it. So I put my leg up and instead of my feet getting on the platform, it slipped. So I hit my mouth like right onto the marble or whatever crap. Marbles are not my friend. I hit it on the stone or whatever and it it broke. It broke half. Okay, same tooth 
same design or whatever you'd like to call it broke in half and I remember that moment but then I don't remember I blacked out but I remember falling that's all I remember after that I don't remember and I remember crying mad this was in Dubai though this was in Dubai so I was really young and I remember it was the year of 2000 I think or I'm not sure guys I'm really not sure it's just vague memories because I was really really tiny at the time and I was running on my stairs I was climbing up and I was like oh my god like my I'm bleeding that's all I remember but it was my milk tooth so it grew back like it fell off and a new one grew back right so coming back to Mangalore now this time I'm like my permanent tooth is gone it's gone and there's no new tooth coming out and um, I wanted to be an actress when I was young I wanted to be an actress and I was very too much into Bollywood and that was my jam you know every music and everything I used to relate so well uh, in third grade I was like I want to become an actress and you know I'm gonna go to Bombay and become an actress la 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 and I thought I was the prettiest girl in the entire world and you know stuff like that just lucid thinking like <laughs> everybody thinks I'm just I'm so pretty I'm gonna be an actress and I'm gonna rule Bollywood no I'm taking this color right here the darker brown and it's so pigmented guys I'm loving this and I'm loving chatting with you okay so what happened uh, where was I yeah so I was like my future is gone thing bro so sorry if I have upper lip stash but I'm sweating okay so at this point all the doors and all were open you know because it was very like a safe you know building and stuff so we used to keep it open my mom heard me scream she came out of the house no no sorry I went in the house I remember this vividly I was walking in the house and my older brother was still laughing ass he was laughing he was like because <laughs> he was also tiny he's just a year older than me and he not he did not realize how uh, the gravity of the situation he did not realize that I broke my permanent tooth and my mom was you know how Indian moms are right like they're not gonna be like it's okay we're gonna get through this like you know it's not how moms in the US are and I'm just generalizing our mom don't feel bad if you're watching but moms like Indian moms are just they shout at you first and then they console you you know they're not like um, they're not like it's okay it'll be fine how did like how did you fall why did you fall like i don't know how and why i fell i didn't do it on purpose like i wouldn't intentionally break my tooth but mom was yelling at me so much because she knew how important me getting into bollywood was uh, and she put ice she bought ice for me and she was holding it and all the neighbors at this point was like what the hell is happening you know and my older brother was very guilty standing at the end of the door and watching everything and I was blaming him I was like it's your fault you were after me he's like what did I do you were the ones who slipped I didn't do anything but I was blaming him and stuff and it was a bad time I still remember this moment okay my, the mirror was uh, behind me and my mom was uh, she didn't show me I didn't go and look at the mirror yet I was terrified of looking at my face I'm like I'm the most ugliest person I'm not gonna look at my face so um so my, at this point I couldn't even feel my tooth it was numb it was so painful guys I cannot like numb and painful I don't know so my mom was putting eyes she cleaned off the blood and everything and you know I was holding it to my like mouth and she was yelling she's like who told you to play outside I told you this is how you look now look how why did you run and basically yelling and I'm just like oh my god what have I done and she's like look at yourself in the mirror now are you going to become an actress looking like this and I took off my handkerchief and ice and I saw myself. I still remember that moment vividly. <laughs> I was devastated. I was devastated. I looked at myself and I'm like, <laughs> I started crying and I'm like, I'm the ugliest girl ever. Like my front tooth, yeah. It's not even like a chip, it was like legit cut okay it was like a cut man I don't even have if I have pictures I'll insert it but I don't know if I do I'll definitely ask my mom she might have some pictures and I was like again I broke my tooth and it grew back and this is permanent tooth and it's not gonna grow back I could not register I'm like I'm never gonna be an actress I cannot act no one's gonna love me no one's gonna 
you know and at that point i used to think i was a beautiful girl ah huh? like and then i'm like i am ugly no one's going to want to be friends with me how can and i was mostly thinking of bollywood i'm like i'm not going to be an actress looking like this and at that point i was so tiny i'm like there's no solution to this milk teeth grows permanent doesn't and you're going to stay like this for the rest of my life i didn't know about dentists and all i was very young so i'm like this is it my life is over my life is over so anyway i'm taking a break i'll tell you what happened let me just finish this I'm going to take the Bharat and Doris eyeshadow palette and this is how it looks it is so pretty it's got like four shimmers and a matte right here so I'm going to take this green color cuz I just feel like I think it looks really stunning so I'm going to take that on my Pro Art 219E flat eyeshadow brush wow that is beautiful that is not even I didn't even spritz my brush with anything huh it's dry brush whoa a little fallout but I am so impressed. Wow. So then I yeah, so I was like I am gone. I am ugly. This is my life is ruined. I'm just you know. And then later um so yeah, this happened and I did not fix my tooth for a very long time because I moved on. Like I went to school the next day. I was so embarrassed, dude. It, it was an all girls school. I've been in an all girls school all my life, by the way. I don't know my dad was protecting me from the boys I guess. Just kidding. I don't know why but I was in Jerosa High School in Mangalore and my house was walking distance. Okay, I could walk to my school. I could see my school from my window. That's how close my school was. Uh, as I grew older, I realized that I needed my tooth to be fixed and I also got on with life. Like I was like, okay, this is my situation and I have a broken tooth and this is how I'm going to live. And I accepted it and I moved on and slowly slowly as time passed, it became me. like broken tooth became malvika and i was just like well this is me and i smiled for photos like this and i just moved on with life basically i didn't think of it as much as when it happened at that point so um i was okay i lived with it for a year i think uh, and then we moved to bombay after a year and i still had the broken tooth on so from the jaclyn hill palette i'm going to take a uh, soda pop which is this dark color right here and just like you know put it in the outer corner for some fall depth Yeah so I moved to Bombay and I was like well I joined Petit I was in Petit okay which is a school in Bandra an all girls school again and um you know I again was with a broken tooth and I was just like I just thought that was me you know and everybody here also was really sweet out thank god I was in an all girls school if they if there were boys and they bullied me I'd like go crazy So at this point my dad was with me and all you know so then I was like it's time to get my tooth fixed you know cuz I'm growing older now I was in the 4th grade by now and I was like I need to get my tooth fixed you know let's do something so my dad's like let's take you to the dentist and you know let's I'm sure there's a solution to this and I was so excited but scared at the same time longest video ever I'm going to take this and blend it in the crease So we went to the dentist and um we he said yeah of course we can get it fixed you know we can just put the filling or whatever and we can get it fixed uh so this was like a a temporary filling it's just like they create a mold on your tooth and they just like fix it so it's not like a whole mold but they fix just that part that was broken you know uh, they don't fix the whole tooth so uh that happened and i when that happened guys when my tooth got fixed my life was back i was like oh my god i am so pretty like i am the prettiest girl i'm back to being pretty and i was like oh my god i can now be an actress and finally my dreams are not shattered i was so freaking happy i cannot tell you and then yeah i went to school like a boss i'm like girl like you know i got my tooth back and i was smiling and everything and yeah i got home one day and i was like you know what let's eat an apple biggest mistake ever i forgot that the doctor said do not bite from the front tooth um it might fall off because just that part is filled i did not think of it so i took a nice big bite of the apple and guess what fell off my tooth <laughs> my tooth fell off and i was like what no that's not going to pay for this again and get it done like And I was like, Dad, my tooth broke again. He's like, How did that happen? Like, what were you doing? I was like, I bit from the front tooth. La la la. Again, I got a yelling as usual. It's way too hot. I had to turn on the air condition. Um, and I shut the window. So, anyway, 
I'm taking the Smashbox contour palette and I'm just gonna finish off with my face my foundation broke up because of how hot it was so I had to like do a little touch up but okay let's move on I just threw on some mascara I don't know if I want to do false lashes today because I don't like the glue sticking onto my lashes especially for today I'm gonna take the Bharat and Norris smoky cold pencil and just put that in my waterline okay so yeah where was I I bit the apple and you know what happened next my tooth broke and I was I was living with that again I was like shit like this is crazy you know everybody now at this point I'm like grown up and stuff like you sort of have self-awareness that you want to look good in the fifth grade and all at least I did and I was like, oh my god, firstly, I am hairy as a bear, okay, I'm a Sindhi girl, so I am hairy as F. I was like so hairy, you could not even see my skin. Not exaggerating, I was a bear, bro, like, there was hair everywhere, TMI, but my legs were so hairy, and we had pinafores, like, you know skirts and stuff so i was like bro this is like nonsense dude like i'm so hairy my teeth is broken like who the hell am i ugliest face ever by the way and um i'm sure most of you relate like school is not the most prettiest face like everyone looks like crap <laughs> and i definitely did so i was like dude shit what the hell so we went and got it fixed again because I was like, dude, I'm not going to like live like this. I want my tooth back and I'm becoming an actress. <laughs> Taking this cool tone and I'm going to contour. This is my new favorite contour technique. Okay, so what I did is um, I was like, you know what, let's get it fixed again. So I go to the doctor, I get it fixed and uh, I'm happy again. I'm like, okay, fine. Finally, my tooth is fixed again and life is back on track and you know, let's live it then one day i was just like you know what i'm just gonna you know i love having soft and you know the mixture of soft and supari and stuff i don't know like the mint you eat after having lunch and we always kept that you know to just eat because we like it and you know that small colorful round little ball in the soft like this mixture you get now i'm sure you know what i mean so i was eating it and I bit it for my front tooth. I bit that tiny little thing. I bit it and I realized there's something else in my mouth. Hmm. It was my tooth. <laughs> oh my god, this is like the saddest video ever. My tooth fell off again in my hand, like in my mouth. And I was like, this is weird. That's not in the mint. It was my tooth. And I'm like, girl. Like, come on, man. Like, what the hell is up with his dentist? He's, he's doing a very shabby job. And, uh, dude, shit, it was horrible. And then I had to, my parents gave up on me at this point. They're like, you live with this now. This is your destiny. <laughs> I'm not, like, we're not taking it to the dentist again and getting it fixed. I was like, I want a permanent solution. I want to fix this. So we went to the dentist again, fast forwarding all of it, we went to the dentist and uh, you know, got it done again and this time permanently. I told him I want it permanent so it doesn't fall off. And this time I took a lot of care. Like this time I did not like, you know, frivolously do anything. I took care, I never ate from the, I still date cannot eat from my front tooth. So apple, biscuit, whatever, I can't. I'm very cautious of it now it's in, like it's burned in my brain like do not use your front tooth like it's you know okay i'm taking the bharat and doris blusher in zero one okay so this lasted a long time yeah this was amazing like he did a good job finally i don't know if he went to another dentist or whatever but whatever whoever i went to worked and i took rather a lot of care because i'm like now my parents are going to be like dude no enough enough of tooth teeth we have gifted you <laughs> so then um yeah so that happened and i was like you know finally yay and then it stayed on no it didn't break after this it stayed on but uh, very recently in fact last year i got a permanent tooth done like last year i've had um the half filling all my life uh, basically and uh, finally i got this and finally there was a dentist who was living in my building 
and uh, he was like you know come to me like let's do a permanent thing since you know you're in the entertainment industry whatever you want to get into i've done it all and i've fixed you know tooth like that and la 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 it's nothing oh it was painful procedure because we wanted to get the mold done completely so he completely got rid of this tooth of mine he got it till the gums and he fixed a cap so this is a fake tooth so look, okay he created a mold out of it and he fixed it so this is sort of permanent he put the blue light and everything it's permanent so i can bite from the front tooth and i do but i try not to because uh i i mean i can't i can't go through the whole process again uh so yeah for highlight i'm gonna use the makeup revolution pro illuminate uh, this I tested out yesterday or the day before and I loved it so thank you so much for your suggestions you guys rock because sometimes I don't know what good products out there and you guys tell me and I love it and this is a this is a great product guys and look at the product quantity I, I love it it's a good drugstore highlighter Uh, I'm gonna just take this lip color by Maybelline. It's Burgundy Blush. It's their matte lip color. I'm gonna wear something bold today, and uh, this lip liner in Midnight Plum by Maybelline. Okay, so this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this chit chat video. I know it was the longest video talking about my tooth, but uh, I thought it was something you guys would enjoy just listening to a part of my childhood. Um, I can think of stories like this and get ready in front of you since I like this better. Let me know in the comment section down below. I really want to know your opinion, what you like to watch me do, what you like to listen. Do you like to listen to my stories? Do you like me to shut up and just do voiceovers? Let me know down below. I appreciate your uh, feedback because then accordingly I will do my videos. Also, really quickly, I want to give a shout out to Shein.com. That's where I got this hoodie from. It's a crop hoodie. I don't have anything in camo. It's very good for winters. If you're wondering where I got it from, so this is it. It is pretty crop. Okay, it's like half, and it's got this really nice thing. I really like it. I've always wanted this crop sort of a hoodie, you know, something that'll keep you warm but not so much. Uh, it'll, it'll look really good on high-waisted jeans or low-waisted jeans or anything you'd like to pair it with. We'll leave their website here or down below. I will definitely leave a link so you can check it out. It's shein.com. I usually don't give shout-outs for clothing lines. A lot of them have come up to me, trust me. And uh, when I chose, I chose three things which I will show you, you know, in future videos. But I chose this and it turned out to be exactly like it showed in the picture on the website and that's what I really appreciate. It's been a long video and I need to sign off because I'm starting to feel a little sick. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one.